welcome back to country views guys um so i haven't been on for a while like i said in my last video i've been healing but also too some more stuff's been going on um everybody's on slightly of a quarantine other places are on bigger quarantines but i'm gonna show you guys an easy meal that is cheap to get um also too you can find this kind of stuff at the store not so much meat in the section i couldn't find hamburger or nothing so i went to this resort um for this but today i'm gonna make beans and ham and cheddar jalapeno cornbread guys and i always fix fried potatoes with it so i'm gonna get the beans and ham going here and i'm gonna show you how i do it so over here what i do okay i couldn't find any dry beans at all but i found these great northern beans in a can so i have six of these cans okay i have a crock pot that i've been heating up for an hour so what i'm gonna do is come over here and i'm gonna dump the whole can in here okay I'm going to be putting three cans in my crock pot and three cans in my pan over here. Because you got to save room for your ham and other ingredients as well. Okay. So this is what three cans look like in a crock pot about this size. I have it on high still to get it going. Now I'm gonna pour these other three cans in my pot over here. Now you don't need to preheat your pot on your stove if you're doing it on the stove. Um, but you do wanna go ahead and start it at a high setting to get it to a boil and then you wanna reduce it. All right. So we got all six cans in between the two pots, you guys. Now save your cans in case if you think you need water, okay? But we're gonna judge that by after we add all of our other ingredients. Now, the next thing I start with is stick butter. And on your stick butter, you have your measurements, okay? one teaspoon and so forth okay i'm gonna cut it off one tablespoon in here and one tablespoon in here okay so i'm just gonna use my knife here that i have sitting out okay that's about what your tablespoon's gonna look like that right there put it in there come over here and do the same thing over here now, if you're making just one pan, then you just want to put one in your one pan. Okay? Now, the next thing, okay, guys, is I have chopped up onion. And you want to chop it up about this fine. Okay? I'm going to put half in each pot. Onion really flavors your beans and ham. I couldn't go without onion in it. I mean, honestly, it's wonderful. So, now a trick I've learned, you guys, okay? If you have trouble scooping all your onions up, take your knife, be careful, because it's sharp. And on the board with your tip, go like this, carry it over to your pan, okay? Come back, scrape, get the rest, carry it over to your pan, okay? Now, I have about a little bit over a teaspoon of garlic, okay? I'm going to come over here and put half in each pot, half here, half here. Now, this is freshly chopped up garlic, you guys. Oh, we missed an onion there. Okay, we turn that down. Now, here's where the fun starts. 
Who loves bacon? I said bacon. I got some real bacon bits here, guys. This really flavors up the beans and ham with the onion. I'm telling you. I got three tablespoons in here. I'm going to do half in each pot. You just need a little bit. And make sure you get the real ones, okay? Or you can cook bacon pieces up yourself. And just chop them up real fine. Okay. So we got that out of the way. All right, here... We have a tablespoon of, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon of seasoned salt. We're gonna put half in each. Okay, uh, seasoned salt's very potent, but I will tell you, my favorite kind is the Lawry's. This is the only seasoned salt I buy. It tastes the best and it's not overpowering and it has no MSG added to it. Okay. The next thing is going to be, oh, there's a bacon bit in here, <laughs> a tablespoon of garlic powder. You're going to put half in each. Okay. Then here... I have a tablespoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to just kind of mix it together and I'm going to put half in each. Now, if you're just making one pan, cut this recipe in half, you guys. Next, I have onion powder. One tablespoon of onion powder. Half in each. Okay, so we're at this point now. You want to get a close-up for me, Cam? Mm -hmm. We're at this point and this point, okay? So now you want to give it a good stir. Stir it around, okay? That way all them seasonings get incorporated in those beans, okay? Now, if you do have dry beans on hand... Be sure to cook those in your crock pot or on your stove to where they're about halfway done. And then add your ham and your onion to it when they're about halfway. Okay? So now, while these get started, I'm going to come over here and show you what kind of ham I'm using. I found Hormel ham. The ham in a can. This is great for a lot of things. Don't you agree, Cam? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what's easy about this is it's got a little pop thing. But be careful. Sometimes it'll break off and sometimes you can cut yourself. So, be careful. You want to pop this off. Got to have a little strength here. And it just pops right off. And what it looks like is, you know, that cooked ham that you buy in the deli lunch meat it kind of looks like that now here's what happens I go around with my knife okay and I kind of loosen it up a little bit sometimes they'll pop right out of the can and sometimes it won't but I kind of go around and loosen it up okay bam yes you got a lot of juice but don't worry about that. You'll have to clean up anyways. And matter of fact, I might take my little rag here and kind of just keep it here as it falls off the counter. I can wipe it. Now, you don't want to use this whole ham, okay? I'm only going to be using half, okay? So you want to cut it in half. Because remember, you got bacon bits in there too. And it doesn't mm. take a lot of ham for the beans and ham. And I'm going to show you guys how to cut this up. So what I do, okay, I got my half cut here. And actually, I think I'm going to use the smaller one here. I go in sections like this, okay? 
Now, what I do is I start cubing, but I start with slices like this, okay? And then you just kind of just start going like this, cubing them up. I like to do small cubes because who wants a big old piece of ham? They want to taste the bean with the ham, right? Mm -hmm. You like it the same way like that, Cam? Chopped up pieces of ham, small? Oh, well, yes, I do. Yes. Now, you guys keep hearing me say Cam. I know you guys never heard his name before. Um, he is my adopted son. Um, he is back from Kentucky. And he's staying with us now. He'll be recording for me sometimes. So now you can start, once that end piece is out of the way, you can start with doubling your pieces here okay and that one's already ready to go so you just keep cubing this up like this okay real small you can make it as big as you want them you can make them as small as you want them if you want to grind them up to where they're super super tiny you can do that too okay now can you guys guess why i cut my half a piece in half again yep you guys guessed it half in each pan so for any new friends and family watching my video today, I want to remind you that I have a Instagram and a Facebook page called Country Views. You can like and subscribe on my YouTube channel as well. You can comment on it. You can comment on my Country Views page, my Instagram, any of that. Um, like I tell all my friends and family, for all you new viewers as well, that if there's something that you know a recipe of that you would like to watch me make, comment on one of my pages and let me know. And then I'll let you know what recipe I come up with in a video. I'll show you how to make it. All right, so we got our half diced up for the first pan, okay, guys? See how that made quite a bit, just half? Half of a half, actually. So now we're going to turn these beans down, get a view over here. See how they come to a boil? Okay, so now give it a stir. You want to turn it down to simmer. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. My phone uh, was ringing. I don't mean to be rude. Uh, All right. So now we're going to add this ham in. Okay. And over here, you want to get a view of this, Cam? Mm -hmm. Right in here. Okay, let's give that a good stir. Like that. Now, I'm going to show you the next couple steps to this one. So I can get this one going and then when I come back, I'll show you the finish of both of them and how to make the cornbread and uh, potatoes and all that but right now let me show you the last steps Louisiana hot sauce you can use any kind you want but I love this kind I buy it at Walmart okay you guys know I like to do dashes one two three four five okay guys 
So you're gonna give that another good stir, okay? Like so, you wanna give them a good view in here for me, Cam. All right, keep your crock pot on high if you want it done fast. If you want it done slow, put it on low. Now, remember I told you to save your cans or a cam? You wanna take some bottled water and use your cans as a measuring cup because a lot of this juice is gonna cook down so you wanna add more juice. So that took about one can, I say about another half a can, okay? Yep, about a can and a half of water, guys, okay? And we'll do the same to this one as well. All right, so now you wanna give it another good stir, like this, and you're gonna let this go for a couple hours in your crock pot. If you're cooking it on your stove, it should be ready within an hour. So, I'm going to let this keep going for the couple hours. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for a couple hours. When this is ready, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you how to make the jalapeno and cheddar cornbread and fried potatoes. And then we'll have a taste test. Okay, guys. So, I went ahead and pre got some potatoes going here i just cubed them up you want to get a view of this cam mm -hmm. i just cubed them up like this uh half butter half oil use the desired amount that you want to use okay um see that pretty golden brown it's starting to get at the bottom and then i salt and pepper I don't put a lot of salt because I also put seasoned salt in it and some garlic powder and onion powder. Use the desired amount. And then I chopped up one whole onion to put in here, okay? Gotta have onions in your fried potatoes. Now, let me just wipe this off real quick here, guys. Now I got my oven preheating to 400 for my cornbread, okay? I like to use Jiffy. The, it is the only cornbread that I will use, okay? So I have two boxes here, enough to feed me and my family. Um, it makes three to eight muffins, depending on how big your muffin tins is. I'm using two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and dump these. Make sure you use a good size bowl because you want... A good size bowl for mixing and make sure you get every little bit of the pieces out of there make sure it's clean all right I also forgot to tell you guys too if you have electric range I have my potato set on four so they don't burn because you want them to get soft but a nice golden brown uh, crispiness on the bottom okay so that's what it looks like two boxes of the jiffy mix okay now I got two whole jalapenos chopped and minced here I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in seeds and all my family likes it spicy if you don't like it super spicy de-seed it and then chop it okay I get the three state cheddar you can use any cheese that you want I put about two handfuls in, okay guys? Two big handfuls. I'm gonna run over here real quick and steer my potatoes again because you don't want them to burn. Best way to flip them, up, curve in. Up, curve in. Just keep doing that all the way around your pan, guys, and I promise you, you it doesn't fail any time. Mm -hmm. You might get a potato here and there, but that's okay. All right, see, aren't those pretty, guys? Oh, that was my timer telling me my stove's ready for my cornbread, so I better get to mixing. 
All right, guys. So now, on these Jiffy Box cornbread mixes, you want to use one egg per box. I have two eggs pre-cracked in here to make sure there's no shell in it, okay? Go ahead and dump that in. All right. Then you're going to use a third cup of milk per box. I put it in here, but I add a little bit at a time, okay? And actually, Cam, can you hand me my little whisk over there out of the dish drainer? Yes, I can. Thank you so much. You're mm -hmm. such a big help. So I go ahead and start getting everything else incorporated, okay? Now, there's another thing that I do, but if you guys don't like this, you don't have to add it. I always add some kind of sweetener, whether it's sugar, Splenda, sweet and low, whatnot. But I like Splenda personally myself. But I do that at the end. So I'm putting half of the milk in, okay? Get a good view of this, Cam. And you know, this is just by going by the measurements. Now, if you think you need more milk, add more milk. If you don't have milk, sour cream or heavy cream is a great substitute as well. And try to get the lumps out the best you can. That's why I'm using a whisk at first. If you don't have a whisk, a fork works as good. Get all your ends and underneath, kind of scrape it around. You want to go like this to try to get it out of your thing. Now see, to me, this is not thin enough for your corn muffins. All right? So I'm going to grab a little bit of more milk. Be right back, Cam. Focus on this for Mom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour me a little more milk in here and just add a little bit at a time, okay? Because you don't wanna overwater it or you'll ruin the whole thing. Or I should say over milk it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you knew that one was funny. Mom's a funny girl, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Oh, you agree with me, eh? Yeah, you are. Okay, so it's almost there. Okay, guys? So just a tad bit more milk. Now, what makes it really good since you're putting jalapeno in it and it, it, seeds and all, when you do add your sweetener, it kind of mellows the spiciness out. So, I'm going to get my generic Splenda here. It's called No Calorie Sweetener. And I'm going to add two. One per box, okay? Okay, and then now you mix that in, okay guys? Now it looks lumpy because of the cheese. Remember, you put cheese in it. All right, I gotta run and flip my potatoes, guys. Now if your potatoes start to stick to your pan, Go ahead and add a little bit more of your olive oil or canola oil. Make it comfortable for your home. Whatever you like to use. You don't have to use olive oil. Um, I do not recommend vegetable oil though. I will say because that's more for deep frying stuff. Now see, I think this needs a little more oil. What do you think, Cam? Yeah. yeah. So just a little more olive oil here. Just around the top. And then next time when you flip them, 
you got some oil on top here okay guys mm -hmm. all right so put your lid back on ouchy hot clean up after yourself let me clean up real quick here guys let's give these beans a stir i think the one in the pot's going to be done quicker than the one in the crock pot i also added my leftover potatoes in the pot and I didn't put no potatoes in the crock pot. Oh, that is coming on so good. Smells good, don't it? Get a oh, get a good whiff of that. Look at that steam, you guys. Mmm, mm -hmm. man. Okay, so now we are ready to film. Want the rest of this milk to drink, Cam? Sure. All right. <laughs> We don't let hey, things go to waste in this house, guys. That's good for you. That's right. Milk does the body good, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So now, here's what I like to do. That one dropped on the floor, so I'm just going to grab a new one. All right. I like to get these little cupcake holders. You can get any size you want, okay? I put them in my cupcake pans. Because then all you got to do is peel your cornbread off of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a fantastic idea. Yes, it is. So I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to bring this closer to me. And... My little rounded spoon ice cream scoopers work as well. Um, but I love this thing. I love to use this thing. Okay, so give it one good stir with your spoon. All right. So kind of hold your cupcake holders when you first get started. Okay, guys? You got to hold them down or they'll fall out on you. Especially if your cupcake pan are small like mine. Alright guys, I'm going to continue to fill these and then I'm going to pop them in the oven and then I will show you what they look like when they're done. Okay guys, so everything is done. Look how beautiful these are. See how beautiful they come out and look, you just peel them right out of the thing. Look how fluffy. Mm. Yummy. So this is how you do it, okay? My fiance just got home from work, so he's going to be taste testing. He just walked in the door. So, he likes his potatoes on the side. So, this is how I'm going to do it for him, okay? Now, if you like your potatoes in your uh, soup, go for it. So come over here. Look at these potatoes. All the nice little brown crumblies mm. right in the center here. Okay. Delicious. Just like so. Look at that. All right. So we're going to set this to the side and put this lid back on. And then we're going to come over here mm -hmm. and grab his bowl. Now you will need a ladle for this. Now he does like his cornbread in his beans. So what I like to do I like to take it right out of the thing, put it right in the center of the bowl. Okay. Then you take your ladle. And the pan was done before the crock pot, so I'm doing the pan. Okay, give it a good stir. All right. Nice spoonful over the cornbread. You want some juice in it as well. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, for the grand finale, focus on that. I bet you guys never thought of doing this, eh? Dun, 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 dun. Bam. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Here you go, baby. Oh, yeah. Here is your beans atop. Here is your spoon and napkin. And your potatoes are here. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think, baby. Oh, yeah. It's very hot. Mm. What do you think? Good? Very good. Did you get the a bite of cornbread with it, mm. baby? Yes, I did. Mm. Delicious. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Can I get an oh so yummy, baby? Oh so yummy. Yum, yum, <laughs> yum. Cam, you want to try a bite? All right, let's give you a bite, Cam. Definitely won't say no to that. All right. Oh, you got mostly ham here, but it's hot. Yep. You guys won't see them taking a bite, you guys, but you'll hear them say what it tastes mm. like. Yummy? Oh, so oh, yummy? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for visiting Country Views. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.